This is tutorial 1-3 in the GIS tutorial 1 book, and I'm on page 13. And uh, I am going to start saving the files like they tell me to, so we will have multiple copies as we work our way through the chapter. And uh, I guess that will allow us to go back. If we want to redo some of this stuff, we'll be able to start at the same point where we started originally when we did the tutorial. So I'm going to save this as tutorial 3. So let's go to our file and let's do a save as. And tutorial 1-3. We're missing 2, but that's okay. And so I'm going to save it. Now I'm on number 2 on page 13 on the tools toolbar. Click the zoom in button. That is the magnifying glass right here. Number three says press and hold down the mouse button on a point above and to the left of the state of Florida. So here is above and to the left of the state of Florida. So we're going to go down and pick off the whole state. And now your map should look something like this. And it should look like the bottom of page 13. Now we're going to go to page 14. Number one on the top of page 14, on the tools toolbar, click the fixed zoom in button. That would be the one with the arrows pointing in. And I just bumped the right mouse button there. Click the map to zoom to in centered on the point that you pick. So I'm going to click right here. And as I keep clicking, it keeps zooming in for me. And now we want to go back up here and we want to zoom back out again. I'm going to click on about the same spot where I was here before. Let's try that again. And now I think we're about back where we started. In the middle of page 14, panning. On the tools toolbar, click on the pan button. That would be the hand. So click on the hand. Move the pointer anywhere into the map view and press the left mouse button and drag. And we can move the mouse, or not the mouse, move the map around on the screen any place that we want to move it. I'm just going to leave it about where it was before. The bottom of page 14, full previous and next extent. On the tools toolbar, click on the full extent button. That is the little globe up here. Click on that, and it takes us to the full extent of the map, even over here where we don't have any layers at all. Then we have a back button here, which will take us back to the previous extent, and extent is basically whatever you see that's visible in the window. And continue to click this button to step back through all of the views. So I'm not going to go all the way back on that. Now I'm on the top of page 15. On the Tools toolbar, click the Go to Next Extent button, which is moving forward. So now we can move forward to all the places that we've been to. And that's as far as we can go. It's grayed out now. And let's back up. No, let's not back up. It wants us to go to the... 48 contiguous states. The easy way to do that now, I think, is just to click here and drag and select. Now we're on the middle of page 15, zoomed layer. It says that map layers have their own extents, and you can zoom to each layer's extent. We've got four layers here, and we want to go to the Colorado Counties layer and right click, and we want to tell it that we want to zoom to that layer. And it will make that layer take up most of the screen area. Uh, under your turn, zoom to the extent of the Colorado Streets layer, which would be that blue streets right there. So let's right click on Colorado Streets and let's say zoom the layer. And now it zooms in and uh, the blue streets take up all of the space on the map from top to bottom. The bottom of page 15, we want to open the magnifier window. So on the menu bar, click Windows and then Magnifier.
Now we're on the top of page 16. Drag the magnifier over an area of the map to see a crosshair for area selection and then release to see the zoom details. Okay, so I'm going to release it right there and it zooms in on that area. I'm not sure this is all that useful. I think what I'd rather do instead of just see part of it in a window here is I'd rather close this and if there's something here I really want to see I just use my zoom magnifying glass here and zoom in on it. Let's go back to the previous extent here. Now we're on the bottom of page 16. Change the magnifier properties. Right click the title bar of the magnifier window and click properties. I've got to get the magnifier window back on here again. So let's right click on it and choose properties at the bottom. We want to change the magnify by percentage to 800%. It's currently 400%. Let's click on the down arrow here and 800 is an option. Click on OK. Drag the, mic, drag the magnifier window to a different location and see the resulting view. So I'm going to move it over. This part looks pretty dense here. And now we can see the streets pretty well. OK, close the magnifier window is number four on page 17. Now we're on use the overview window on the bottom of page 17. Zoom to the previous extent until you see the 48 contiguous states. That should only be a couple of clicks here, I think. There we go. Zoom to a small area of the map in the northwest corner of the U.S., two or three complete states. If you look at the picture on the bottom of page 17, it looks like we've got Washington, Oregon, and Idaho completely, and a little bit of some of the surrounding states. So uh, with your zoom in magnifying glass, we're going to start about right uh, here, and we're going to go down and over to about out there. It should match what they have. So that looks pretty much like the bottom of page 17. Now let's turn to page 18. And on the menu bar, click Windows and then Overview. So let's go to Windows and Overview here. And now we see a little rectangle over that part of the state, or that part of the United States that we have selected. Number four says move the cursor to the center of the red box and drag to move it to the northeast corner of the U.S. Okay, so the northeast corner of the U.S. would be over here. And uh, there we go. i drag that down just a little bit. Let's try that. Okay. And that should look kind of like what you see on the middle of page 18. Close the layers overview window. So let's close that. Okay, we're going to skip the your turn part at the bottom of page 18 because I just don't think that the um, overview window is something you're going to be using a lot anyway, so we don't really need to practice it. So let's go to the top of page 19, and this is using spatial bookmarks. And what they do is they save an area that you zoomed into, so it's real easy to zoom back into it again later. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to our table of contents here. We're going to turn off the counties and the streets. And then we're going to go to the menu bar and under bookmarks, uh, there is a bookmark that was already in this file. And it's called 48 contiguous states. And if we click on that, it will zoom in just to this area right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our own bookmark on number three here. So we want to zoom into the state of Florida. So again, let's go to our magnifying glass up here. And we will just select the state of Florida. Yeah, it looks like I missed a little bit. Yeah, that's good enough. And now we're going to create a bookmark. Click on bookmarks and we want to create a bookmark. And it needs a name. We're going to call this Florida. Click on OK. We're going to go back to bookmarks and choose 48 contiguous states. Now we're back here. We're going to go to bookmarks again. We're going to click on Florida and it takes us down to the bookmark that we just saved. At the bottom it says create spatial bookmarks for the states of California, New York, and Texas. Try out your bookmarks. That's really straightforward. We're going to skip that part as well. But that is the end of tutorial 1-3. So we're going to save what we have done.
and we will do tutorial 1-4 in the next video.